ode to GH spoilers. Robert was deep in thought as Holly returned to Port Charles, a flood of old emotions surfacing as always, but this time everything was different. No longer was there confusion or nostalgia for the romantic days of the past. Instead, Robert felt a simmering anxiety when he thought about the danger Holly brought with her whenever she appeared. Holly had long been part of troublesome adventures. She never returned without carrying hidden threats. This time, rumors about Sidwell, a dangerous crime boss, had begun to spread. Robert knew Holly was involved in Sidwell's mysterious dealings, and her return only made the situation in Port Charles worse. There were whispers about a diamond theft involving Holly, but she denied it. And Robert knew that things were never simple with her. Jack Brennan, the head of the WSB, had approached Robert with a clear request. Extract information from Holly. Brennan believed that Holly held the key to taking down Sidwell and stopping the next wave of threats. Although Robert had distanced himself from the world of espionage and schemes, he understood that this situation could not be ignored. Brennan wanted answers, and Robert was pushed to take action. However, what troubled Robert most was Diane. His relationship with her had become serious, and he knew that Diane could not bear the insecurity and danger that Holly brought. Robert sensed that his life no longer had room for past mysteries like Holly. Any involvement in this situation could threaten his current happiness with Diane, something he was unwilling to risk. Robert understood that Holly's return was not just the rekindling of an old love story, but a real threat. Holly had stolen something incredibly valuable from Sidwell, and now Sidwell would not stop until he got it back. Sidwell was someone Robert knew would never show mercy. That meant everyone around Holly, including Robert, could become targets. The more Robert thought about it, the more he realized the only way to protect himself and those he cared about was to keep his distance from Holly and steer clear of the secrets she was hiding. Now, Robert only wanted to protect what he had, and that meant cutting Holly out completely. Sidwell and Brennan were both threats he could not ignore, but in Robert's heart, the greatest danger was letting the past drag him back into a life he had once wanted to escape. The choice was clear, and Robert knew that the only action he could take to protect both Diane and himself was to stand firm, refusing to get involved in the trouble Holly brought with her. Sidwell might pursue Holly, but Robert would not allow himself to be part of that dangerous whirlwind again. After many days of reflection and consideration, Robert decided that the only way to resolve everything was to convince Holly Sutton to leave Port Charles for good. While he knew this action would have consequences, Robert had no other choice. He realized that if Holly stayed, not only would she be in danger, but so would everyone around her, especially with Sidwell involved. Robert was well aware of Sidwell's nature and knew that the man would never give up pursuing Holly until he reclaimed what he believed was his. Not wanting Diane, the woman currently in his life, to be drawn into this dangerous vortex, Robert resolved to end the issue by persuading Holly to leave. He no longer had any feelings for her, and now all he wanted was to protect what remained of his current life. After a conversation with Holly, Robert advised her to leave Port Charles immediately, before things spiraled out of control. Holly listened, realizing that Robert had completely changed and she was no longer his priority. With a heavy heart, she agreed. Leaving might be the only way for her to avoid Sidwell and the looming dangers. However, this decision did not come without consequences. Jack Brennan, who had always been watching Holly closely to extract information about Sidwell, became furious when he learned that Robert had helped Holly escape. Brennan believed Holly was the only key to bringing down Sidwell, and her disappearance slammed the door on his chance. Brennan was enraged, feeling betrayed by Robert, who had once been a trusted comrade. When Brennan discovered the truth, he didn't hide his anger. He immediately confronted Robert, criticizing him for ruining the plan and allowing Holly, someone holding critical information, to slip away. In Brennan's eyes, this was a failure and the end of any hope of defeating Sidwell. But for Robert, it was the only decision to protect what he held dear, despite Brennan's fury. Robert did not care about Brennan's rage. For him, Holly's departure from Port Charles was not just to save her from Sidwell, but also the only way to free himself from the past 
and protect Diane from the troubles he had once been immersed in for many years. Even though Brennan would not easily let go, Robert was ready to face the consequences of his decision, as long as he could keep Diane and his current life safe. Robert's decision, though risky, was probably the wisest choice at that moment. By advising Holly to leave Port Charles, he not only freed her from the danger of Sidwell, but also safeguarded his loved ones, especially Diane. Robert understood Sidwell's nature, brutal and unforgiving. Anyone associated with Holly could become a target, and if she stayed, things would quickly spiral out of control. Holly's departure was not just an act to help her find a way out, but also a means for Robert to escape from the haunting past. He had long realized that his relationship with Holly no longer held any meaning, and his true love now was Diane. Holly had once been a part of his life, but now she only brought unnecessary trouble and danger. However, even though Robert's decision seemed to solve the immediate problem, he couldn't be sure about the future. By helping Holly escape, Robert may have put himself in the crosshairs of dangerous enemies. Jack Brennan, with his growing resentment, would not easily overlook Robert's interference in his plans. Brennan wanted information from Holly to take down Sidwell, and her disappearance left him feeling betrayed. Not only Brennan, but Sidwell, known for his ruthlessness and relentless vengeance, might have already set his sights on Robert. In Sidwell's eyes, Robert's help in Holly's escape was a challenge, and Sidwell was not the kind of man to forget a grudge. He could see Robert as someone who had meddled in his business and deserved punishment. Despite these looming dangers, Robert accepted whatever consequences might come. He had faced many trials in the past, and now facing revenge from Brennan or Sidwell did not faze him. But one thing was certain, Robert had prepared himself, not just to protect himself, but also to protect Diane. In his heart, letting Holly go was necessary, and if he had to face future dangers, he was ready to confront them all. Robert's decision was a trade-off, but it was a necessary one to preserve his current life and protect his loved ones. Even though retribution could come at any moment, Robert remained steadfast in his choice, knowing that it could lead to a more peaceful future.